Hello and welcome to this video editor for Journalism Studies, Volume 14, August 2013, which is absolutely bursting at the seams with 11 research-based articles by authors from the UK, Hong Kong, Wales, Montenegro, Australia, the US, South Korea and Holland. The issue kicks off with Sarah Lonsdale's fascinating account of the portrayal of women journalists in early 20th century British fiction. Claire Knight offers a framing analysis of changing British press representations of the Soviet Union between 1939 to 41, while Bess Wang, Francis Lee and Haiyan Wang explore journalistic witnessing in Hong Kong journalists' coverage of the Japanese earthquake in March 2011. Andy Williams and Slavko Gajewicz offer a detailed account of the struggles between science sources and press coverage of animal-human hybrid embryos. Kate Holland and Warwick Blood use interviews and focus groups to examine the Australian public's responses to media reporting of swine flu. And Amanda Hinant, Maria Len Rios and Rachel Young analyse health journalists' use of personal case histories to put a human face on reporting of health issues. Going to the Over the Atlantic, Robert Gutch Jr. employs Etima's notion of journalistic imaginative power to explore why certain rather obvious explanations of a vicious and unprovoked attack were ignored by journalists. Kyle Halode, Sung Yen Park and Zhao Qin Zhang compare local and national newspapers to analyze the racialization of the Virginia Tech shootings, while Maud Faisal Kazmani compares and analyzes the reporting of the 2009 Iranian elections by BBC World News and Al Jazeera English. Finally, Bob Britton analyzes the role of places in photographic coverage of 9-11 anniversary editions of newspapers, while Monisa Wahid, Andrea Shuk, Peter Nyans and Kleister Fries compare the news coverage of political speeches in developed and developing countries. There's an awful lot of high quality research in this issue, so it's a lucky thing it's August, the sun is shining and there's time to find a quiet space in the garden to relax with journalism studies. Enjoy and I'll be back in October after the biennial Future of Journalism conference which this time around is a research conference with attendance available only to presenters. But look out for our live blogging on the 12th and 13th of September. See you there or see you in October.